Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. A bit of a different one today. Uh, I'm in the workshop, and for once, I'm not alone in the workshop. Yes, I've been joined by my mate Simon. Now, why have I been joined by my mate Simon? Well, there's a good reason for that. One of my subscribers, who shall be nameless, said, Julian, I've got a problem for you. I had a stem, and I had the faceplate for my handlebar. And you know the four bolts? I said, yeah. He said, or she said, because I'm not giving any details away. He or she said, I've over-tightened one of them and it snapped. And there you are, you can see the snapped bolt in the stem. And they said, Julian and Simon, you being such great guys in the garage workshop, can you sort it for me? And I've said, well, I can't. But with the assistance of my mate Simon, who knows about these things, we're going to have a go. So this video is about how do you fix a stem, what you have damaged by snapping off the bolt in the stem through your own rank stupidity. So watch this, my friends, and hopefully you will learn how to sort it. So we're going to go over to the workbench and we're going to get stuck in. Okay, well here we are, we're, we're over at the workbench, well Simon's at the workbench, I'm obviously behind the camera. Simon's just having a cup of coffee before he starts work. Very important when you're in the garage that you start any job with a cup of coffee. So uh, we've got the, the vice, or as people in America call it, a vise. And let's just focus in on the vice there. And uh, there's a bit of cloth on the vice, that's just to protect it. But also to protect the stem when we start squeezing it in the vice. So that's just sorting out the, the towel there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the stem in the vice. Here's Simon putting the stem in the vice, tightening it up. Now you don't want to over tighten it. Uh, because then you'll damage it in more ways than it's already been damaged. So now it's in the vise, and we can see that the damaged bolt, which is here, is the bit that's going to have the next part of the operation. Okay, well the first step is to use a drill with a small drill bit to try and create a small hole within the damaged bolt, which is currently located in the stem. So. Simon's going to start drilling now. Now I'm going to speed up that bit of drilling that you just saw, otherwise we're going to be here all fucking day. So uh, uh, one thing to be careful of, by the way, which Simon has already pointed out, is the drill bit that we're using is very small and very fine. So do not put any pressure so on the... It. Yeah, oh, as Simon says, it's so easy to snap it. So uh, be very careful of that. Simon's just going to put a bit of lubrication on. Always useful in a garage to have some lubrication. Never know when you might need it. Back to the drilling. Right, so having made a uh, small hole in the damaged bolt, just here, Simon is now using this tool, which is called, what's it called Simon? It's called a screw extractor, and this end you use to actually form a hole in the damaged screw, and this end then goes in anti-clockwise and hopefully pulls it back out. Okay, well that's what we're now going to, well, I say we, uh, obviously I'm just the cameraman in this exercise, the, uh, the true artisan at work is Simon. Oh, look at that. So here we can see the 
little screw, the one that was stuck in the stem, uh, which Simon has managed to partially extract. Now we're going to see if the, the tool can extract it all of the way. So I'm having some trouble focusing accurately. It's not focusing. Okay, go ahead, Simon. Okay, so we now put the driver in reverse so that we're going to go lefty loosey. Okay, I'll do this. go ahead. And oh, look at that, the screw. Oh, isn't it nice when a screw comes to an end? I mean, when a screw comes out, as it were. And now let's have a look at this, the screw that is done. And that's the magic kit that Simon used to uh, remove that naughty, naughty bolt. So, there we go. Now we're going to be in a position to put the stem back on the bike, put the handlebars back in the faceplate, tighten up the faceplate without over tightening the faceplate and therefore causing the same damage as before and destroying the bolt. So we've uh, put the handlebars back in and I've put the bolts back in here and tightened them to four newton meters. Recommended is five newton meters but Simon reckons four is enough. So do not over tighten these bolts because they will snap very very easily as that subscriber found to his or her cost. But now it's fixed so big thanks to Simon for sorting this out for me and uh, many happy years of cycling ahead of us we hope. Do take care and see you next time.